Hello. I'm going to do a quick run through of how I assemble shapes and link them to data in Visio. First, we will um, create a new diagram. Then we're going to link data to the diagram from an Excel workbook. I've already got one selected here. And then after that, we'll pick which range we want to use. I'm going to pick device range. First row of data does contain column headings. I want to import all of it. And then the two things that I linked together on here as it found and populated are the device. And then I also know that manufacturer is also the same. For the shapes that I'm going to use, and for the data that I'm going to have imported. Let's see it. So at the bottom it populates the Excel spreadsheet with the information. And then I'm going to pick up some shapes that I have custom created. And then I'm going to uh, build a rack. Put a 10 gig switch in there along with the 8208. Let's put into 4200s as a stack chassis. And then an EX3200 as an edge. And an M7i as an edge. All right, so it's all in place now. Now we can link the data to the shapes, pick all shapes on this page. We're going to say that device equals device. And again, we'll go one step further and we'll say that manufacturer equals manufacturer. This way it lessens the confusion between different linkings, relationships, I should say. And we'll finish. And there it is. Now let's link the data in. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's a little strange to read, so we will uh, work on the formatting now. Let's go ahead and move this over a little bit. Go to the data, edit data graphic. Well, we want to list exactly what this is, each one of these items are, but let's go ahead and put this on the far left. And we'll make the call out with one. All right, so that's freed up a little space on the right side. Also, let's go back and not show the label. We don't need to say that it's going to say device. We'll just say what the device is. Next thing we'll mention is the cost. Cost there will be looked at like a data bar, and we'll call it a progress bar. Call the entire top cost. Uh, since the most expensive thing I think here is sixty thousand, we'll make it seventy thousand to give a nice good range. And again, we will not specify what this is because it should be pretty apparent. And now we have prices. Last thing we want to try to calculate is the power. So let's go ahead and add power and amps. It's going to be a data bar as well. I don't think the uh, most powerful thing here is any higher than 10 amps or 12. Let's go ahead and uh, call the maximum 12. Again, we will not mention the label, although maybe this time we should. We'll see. Things are a little crowded, so maybe the appropriate thing right now until I can figure something out is to just move them apart a little bit.
I guess if we're going to do that, we can go ahead and insert that as well to make it look more uniform. And there we are. Each major item that we've input along with its cost.